Hello, I'm here today at the manufacturing base of Coachman Caravans in Hull. Now, Coachman has been building touring caravans since 1986, and down the years it's developed a really impressive reputation for robust, high-quality tours that really stand the test of time. But more than that, in recent years, it's also developed a reputation for making some of the best-looking tourers on sale today. Now, Coachman employs up to 150 people at its seven and a half acre site. There's 100,000 square feet of manufacturing plant here, and they're able to produce up to 40 touring caravans each week. Today, we're going to take a look at the life cycle of the Coachman Vision, from its design stage to its full production, to the point of it rolling off the production line, ready for test and dispatch to a dealer. So the Vision begins its life here in Coachman's design studio. Design manager Ian Kershaw manages a team of six, which designs first from sketches and then computer-aided design the Coachman caravans. This leads to solid modeling, rapid prototypes, and then trialing. All the concepts come together here first before making a full production model. Here in the machine shop, CNC routers programmed using the designs from the design studio, cut the furniture to the right size and shape for the caravan models. Here the chassis gang assembles the Alco chassis from its kit parts and the floor is mounted to it. And this is the cabinet shop where all the interior furniture is assembled. Here the furniture gang attaches the interior furniture to the caravan side walls before the body shell goes onto the chassis. Note that the caravan side walls now sit in an aluminium rail that's screwed to the floor from the underside. And adhesives are used to join the floor and the walls. Coachman has replaced the major timber framing battens in its sandwich side walls with a tougher polyurethane material. So in the event of any water penetrating that body shell, it's got nowhere to go and it can't be absorbed. It's here that the polyurethane battens are fitted accurately inside the caravan sandwich sidewalls. Coachman is now making extensive use of bonding technology, that is using Bostic adhesives to replace these screws and mechanical fixings that have traditionally gone into the build process. An example of items that are now bonded rather than screwed to the shell include the exterior door frame, the fridge vents, the front and rear panels are now bonded to the roof and in the case of Vision, the awning rail is now bonded, it's glued rather than screwed to the sidewall. One of the new features for the Vision is to drill into the sidewall in order to fit these little plastic fir tree fixings upon which the awning rail is now bonded. This is a new process. The Coachman Caravan finally rolls off the line onto test row where all its components and utilities are fired up for several hours to check they're in full working condition before dispatch. So, we've seen how Coachman builds its caravans. Now let's take a look at the completed products. Coachman offers four ranges from the lower mid-market vision to the luxury premium twin axle laser range. For 2014 season, there have been some kit upgrades across the board. Each range now gets Truma Combi 6 heating with a really smart, control panel operated with a rotary knob and the two premium ranges VIP and laser get an 80 watt solar panel mounted to the roof as standard. Let's take a look in the Vision first. The Vision is an eight model range. It offers layouts suitable for couples right up to families of six. From the outside as you can see it's a, a very attractive looking van. It doesn't offer a sunroof that its coachman sister ranges offers and that's not available as an option either. Inside the Vision, I really like the ambience. I like the ash furniture. I like that turquoise and oatmeal upholstery. And don't forget, it's really well equipped. It has a microwave oven as standard. The hob is dual fuel. It gets three gas burners and an electric hot plate. My only issue is it doesn't offer a sunroof and it also doesn't have overhead lockers at the front. But otherwise, it's a, it's a hit with me. Pastiche is Coachman's upper mid-market range. It has six layouts, including a two berth, the rest are four berths. As you can see, externally it has fantastic looks. It's got that full height front panel and a really big sunroof. It looks great. Inside Pastiche, 
it oozes quality. I really like the light furniture veneers and upholstery. There's a lot of attention being paid to mood lighting, as you can see with those pillar LED lights and the lighting above the lockers. Yes, it's heavy, yes, it's expensive, but my God, you pay for the quality. Next, it's the VIP. It's a single axle luxury range and it features five layouts. Now, as the name VIP might suggest, this caravan is luxuriously equipped. We've already mentioned that it has an 80 watt solar panel as standard, which is great news for those that like to be rallying or, or otherwise camping off grid. You also get a slim Avtex TV as standard. Yes, you'll need a big old tow car to pull this, but you're going to be the talk of your neighbours on site. And finally, it's the top of the range twin axle laser. It's been trimmed from four to two models for the 2014 season, and they're both four berths. This really is the last word in space, luxury, and as you can see, gorgeous good looks. Now, if you forked out your hard-earned cash to buy one of these big boys, you're going to want to look after it, and Coachman helps you with that. It's installed a new phantom tracker system to the lasers for 2014, a system which not only tells you exactly where the van is at any time, it also keeps an eye on its battery level status. Okay, with max weights of over 1,800 kilos, you're going to need a serious tow car to pull a laser, but that's just part of what makes it so aspirational. 